Nine on your side investigates after a Greenville mother voices her concerns after she says her child was hurt at a local daycare. WNCT's Courtney Allen's looking into this story for us now. Courtney joins us now. Ken, Brianna Ombre Houston's Facebook post from Friday night has been shared more than 1,600 times. It shows a picture of her son Skyler with an eye contusion. She's also taken to Twitter voicing her concern. Here's some of the tweets. My child was a victim of neglect and abuse at this daycare. Please look at this story. What happened to my baby was not an accident and justice better be served. My precious baby didn't deserve that. Justice for Kyler. Houston says this all happened at Kinder Care Daycare on Red Banks Road before she rushed him to the hospital. She contacted Nine on Your Side looking for answers about what happened. I trusted Mommy. this company to care Mommy. for my son and make sure he's safe while I'm at work. Mommy. And they failed me. Brianna Ombre Houston is trying to find a new daycare for her son, Kyler. This came after she says the 17 month old got an eye contusion at Kinder Care Friday. Well, I took him to the hospital immediately after. I also called Greenville Police Department and they came in and did a report. And I also followed up with um, DSS. Police told her they would contact the center in the coming days. Nine on your side went to the daycare to get answers, but were turned away. Hi. Hi. My name is Courtney Allen. I'm a reporter for WNCT mm -hmm. in Greenville. I just had a quick question. Okay, we're not actually allowed to answer any questions. Kinder Care Corporate released a statement addressing Friday's incident, saying Kyler ran into a table. But Houston says this isn't an isolated incident. Chunks of meat bitten out of his fingers. Um, he's had a chunk of meat bitten from his face, which also left a scar. He's had a bite mark on his cheek, where you could see the teeth imprint. By law, they're supposed to um, call the parent when an incident happens, but they did not call me every time something happened to him. She says since sharing her story, others have messaged her with similar experiences. Other children being bit as well, and um, having their face smashed into a cot, having their arm bended back behind them. She hopes for better communication and supervision moving forward. I just hope that the teachers will come forward and be honest about what really happened. A more supervised environment for the kids to per prevent these accidents from happening. It let me find out if, it's, if it was actually an accident or not. Houston wants there to be cameras at the center. She says she believes it was a sharp object that hurt her son due to scraping in the eye area, not a round table like she was told. She's pressing charges against the center. Greenville police say they are aware of the allegations and are investigating. Courtney Allen, Nine on Your Side. Courtney, thank you.